Even though we're here to save them, in all reality, they do save us. Come on. And the more we get into educating ourselves and the more we get into uh, growing our sanctuary, my love grows and my purpose to be here and the need to be here grows as well. Forever Home Sanctuary is a farm animal rescue. We provide a safe, healthy, and loving home to abandoned um, animals, farm animals that need to be rescued or rehomed. Let's go! Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that this would happen to me. I was a city girl. I liked animals, but didn't love them. Coming together with Ron as a partnership and as a relationship is what helps me see how we need this in our lives. I'm not even sure how to explain it. You just go for a walk with a goat and it's, yeah, it's so calming and so, I don't, have, I don't have the words for it, I just, just a feeling. We had a lot of healing to do ourselves. We had a lot of trauma we had to deal with. And with this help and support of animals, we were able to get to a very emotionally healthy space that we are right now. There's a lot of need in our society for that support that animals, nature, the peace and quiet of the forest can give you. So we would like people to experience that healing themselves. And we, our end goal is to open up to public. Ron and I started volunteering for the Turtle Valley Donkey Sanctuary and we fell in love with the work that they do there and they were kind of like our inspirations to start something of our own. We were in the car on the way home and we said we just have to do something that was that was crazy. There is a dark side to the industry whether we like it or not. Animals are here to serve a purpose for for humans and when they stop serving a purpose for any reason they go down a dark path and we're here to be able and provide a home for them. We've been out to a few places and you see the conditions that some, some of the animals are in. It's just something we have to do. It's not a, a, not a choice. We did have a five-year plan, but what happened is we were contacted by the Okanagan Horsey Ladies. So in 2021, uh, Horsey Ladies decided to choose Angie and Forever Home Sanctuary as our recipient for our fundraising. It was their compassion. We could tell just by talking to Angie that it was just something that was really in their hearts that they really felt they needed to do. I wasn't sure that we were ready because it was such a, a quick transition from what we had planned on to what we actually, when we actually started. But within the first, I don't know, hour, I was, that was it. I was in love, ready to go. We start our day early in the morning. We do the feeding and then we go to work and then we come back home and we take care of the animals. So our days are super busy. We have fenced about four acres for our animals and they are free range throughout the day. When we are at home, they usually follow us around. So if we have to go into the house for any reason, they'll come and wait outside the door for us until we come out. You guys, what are you all doing here? Hi. They teach us so much the simplicity of their lives and they love, they give to you unconditionally um, and the healing they do to your heart and your soul Hi. Is, Hi. is by far bigger than you can ever imagine. I think our world needs love and healing and kindness. So why we do it is because we, we truly want to make a difference in our world and our community. Is there anything else you were like, oh, I should say this to say? More no. talking than you usually no. do? Oh, ab more talking than I've ever done in my life. <laughs> she handles all the interview stuff, all the Facebook stuff, all the everything. Yeah. I just want to, hey, I just want to build stuff. <laughs> build and pet the animals, and I'm happy.